Hi and welcome to Sound Music Business Tips Episode 9. I'm Anthea Palmer. Now I know I harp on a lot about building your fan base on your own domain and your own website versus trusting other platforms. And today I want to talk about something that's happened on a platform that's going to affect everybody that deals with email. So if you have a mailing list, you'd better have a listen to this episode. So Gmail has changed the way that you receive incoming email. It's auto categorized into priority, social and promotional. And what that means is that even if you've subscribed to somebody's mailing list, like you have to mine, there's a good chance that my email will end up in your promotional box amongst all the spam and crap that you don't want. Now, why this is important, it's not just because I don't want you to miss out on my email. It's also because if you've got your own mailing list, then anybody with a Gmail account on your mailing list is going to be affected and they may not receive your content. So to get around it, it's a very simple fix. I don't have a Gmail account. I'm certainly not an expert on Gmail, but I'm going to refer you to a video by Michael Stelsner. And it's a very simple video that explains the changes and what you can do to make sure that you still get your email effectively. And then you could pass that link and this information onto people on your mailing list to make sure that they don't miss out on your mail. Now getting back to the mothership conversation, this is an example of how a platform, a big platform, can make big changes with very little notice and a lot of effect. So we all know that Facebook are changing things all the time, they're monetizing more and more. We've heard about musicians that have been slapped from YouTube. Uh, we all know about the MySpace fiasco. So please, 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 if you haven't already, get a domain, get your own website and have an opt-in from your website that joins people to your mailing list. You can do all the social media stuff and point it back to your website. Now, if you're interested in this topic and you want to know more, if you go to Sound Rehearsal Studios News Episode 2, I did also talk about this stuff in a little bit more detail there. So I'll put a link to that in the show notes as well. Again, in important news and something that it's really important for you to keep up with if you're doing any internet marketing. So thanks for watching Sound Music Business. I'm Anthea Palmer. Onward and upward.